Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of May 2024. Uh, I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out in the monthly format. For the reading, I will be using the Hobbit Tarot Fun Deck. So for Overall energy, you have the King of Swords in the upright position. We'll do this first and then break it down week by week. So King of Swords. Now this is an air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Uh, this could be a person who's playing a pivotal role in your life. This month, King of Swords cuts through the heart of the matter and is interested in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Now you could be dealing with somebody like this. This could be your business partner. This could be your spouse or family member a friend, someone at work, a boss. But the King of Swords is uh, just very cut and dry. Um, they try to leave emotion out of it when they're dealing with subject matters and they just want to get to the the bottom and the truth of the matter. It could sometimes represent dealing with legal matters, could be a lawyer, could be a, um, a judge, it could be a police officer, could be an arbitrator, someone in the military, or a surgeon, or somebody like that. But this is, it could be about legal matters, having serious conversations about um, either of those subjects. Could be about surgery, could be about legal matters. Okay, in the uh, first week, we have the Four of Wands in the upright, rooted down by the Nine of Wands. Four of Wands is really good. This is the We Have Arrived. This is putting the finishing touches on a business deal, on a, on a home. This is a completion. We have arrived. It's time to stop and take, um, take a breath <laughs> and to celebrate our success thus far. There's still more work to be done. There's still more things that we can do afterwards, but this is putting uh, like solid roots down on something, whether it be a relationship, it's finally, you know, moving in together, getting married or bringing the relationship to the next step. Sometimes this can represent completing a business deal or a home situation, a renovation or something like that. Nine of Wands in the upright is the wounded warrior energy. This is being on the defense. Um, we're waiting for something to happen. Not necessarily is it going to happen. This is just a, a, a case of being in the red, on the ready uh, in preparedness. So this is, you know, I can take on whatever comes my way at this point. Many challenges you fought on this same battle. You can uh, fight another day if you should need to, not saying you will need to. It's just a state of being in the ready, on the ready for anything that comes. Four of Swords is in the reverse position with the King of Wands rooting it down for uh, week two. The Four of Swords in the upright position points to sort of needing to hold back, recuperate, rest, and uh, take a moment, <laughs> take a moment to uh, take care of ourselves, take care of our health, uh, get over something. When the card is inverted, this is where we are finally uh, done with that, and we are maybe feeling better, we're ready to return to action. The King of Wands requires us to uh, take action. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You're coming up in your own reading in the upright position. I think you're the one Sagittarius that pulls you up by the, pulls yourself up by the bootstraps and get gets moving forward. Uh, you do not want to wait or stall or anything anymore. You just want to get moving. That's what it looks like. You're riding on the success of week one and you just want to keep the momentum going. Week three, we have temperance. Again, more Sagittarius energy. You're coming up in your own reading in the upright position. You are on the right path. Just keep this momentum moving forward because why? It's going to lead you to the wheel of fortune. This is all about being in the right place at the right time, having um, where we're no longer introducing any kind of resistance. We're having the universe just unfold for us in a natural way and just having those synchronicities play out for us, which can lead us to a great place. We can walk into a store, buy a lottery ticket, win a few dollars. We can, um, we can now... Uh, you know, go on the internet, find our dream home, our dream job is, you know, it's anything. We could win a contest 
Anything can happen when the Wheel of Fortune is there. The Temperance is there to let you know. Healing is, is pretty much complete for you. Uh, temperance is all about having patience, being calm and temperate, and also having the cooperation of the people around you to be able to do the things you need to do. And the last uh, week, you have the Seven of Cups rooted down by the Five of Coins in the upright position. Seven of Cups is all about trying to choose, deciding where to go, what to do. Now, uh, you have options, lots of options. You just have to be careful with this energy. It is very Neptunian. So you have to make sure that you are... Um, you know, moving in the right direction. When it comes to the Seven of Cups, the reason why we have to be uh, so careful is because some of these options and opportunities are not very realistic. They're not something that is viable or good for us. So we really need to choose wisely. But I always say it's better to have more options than none. So it can be a little bit confusing because it's like, hmm, what to do, what to do. Five of Cups in the upright position can point to um, needing to understand something that, that like there's two different possibilities here with the five of cup or the five of uh, coins which is five pentacles sometimes it can represent abandonment S uh, people have abandoned us or we have abandoned them it could be that's why you're looking at choices maybe you're leaving something behind or some people behind and you are deciding where you're going to go from here or it could be that they have abandoned you and you're trying to figure out where to go from here. Uh, for others of you, this could be about finances, trying to make sure that you have enough financial stability here because you're completing something this month and having things go in your, your way. So it's almost like I need to choose and decide um, what I'm going to do with this fin the finances in order to make it, uh, make it last and also make it count. That's what the Five of Pentacles is about. Uh, do I have enough money to be able to, you know, go here? Maybe this is about um, places to live. And it could be, do I have enough money? Would If I choose this place, will this be enough uh, resources to be able to sustain me while I live here? It could be that. I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. And in the meantime, I'm going to pull two cards. Looks like a pretty good uh, month for you, Sagittarius. And uh, something is finally working out for you. And there's a lot of clarity here and truth and honesty. Wheel of Fortune is here. Looks really, really good for you. So we're going to pull two cards. One is for love and romance. And the next is for career and finance. So we'll see for love and romance. What do we have? We have... Uh, Aries, number 13, courage. So it could be that something, maybe your love interest is an Aries. It could be that something important happens in your love life when the moon's in Aries. Or it could be on the 13th of the month, you're going to need maybe some courage. <laughs> Believe in yourself, Sad. And you may be needing courage to move forward with something in your love life. <laughs> So, next card is for career and finance. We have Eclipse and Capricorn, new direction. So maybe some of you are going in a new direction with business and enterprise and finances. It could be something important happens to you when the moon is in Capricorn or with or through a Capricorn. It could be a business partner or something like that. So that's what I have for you, my dear Saggies. I really hope you have a fabulous month of of uh, May and yeah make sure to let us know what you think in the comment section below <laughs> so thanks so much for joining me really hope um, the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and I will see you again in the next video take care much love namaste bye bye for now